Today, I will present the project of digital edition of Giorgio Bassani's annotation, which I'm developing with my colleague Angelo Mario del Grosso, a project that not only calls for a comparison between different editing methodologies, but also invites us to rethink tutorial annotations from a conceptual point of view, enhancing its great potential for literary criticizing studies. Despite being considered a minimum for a specific text, because the UNESCO, in the edges of the page, writers' annotations to the books of this library are a critically important source, because they allow us to reconstruct its history, thesis, and poetics. Being a text that originates from another printed text to explain, comment on, or correct it, the note is also a complex textual form, difficult to manage and edit exhaustively. In fact, it poses three main critical issues. Representation. The scholar's task is to correctly represent the link between the note and the text in the edition. This operation is difficult and unclear with the tools of traditional philology because it requires the use of a complex system of symbols that may confuse the reader. Classification. Alongside the verbal notes, there are the nonverbal ones, an elusive, fluid, and rich category that the edition narrowly partially records, with a significant loss of information. Systematization. It is necessary to consider the multiple relationships that a single note has with contiguous ones, with those in the other books, with the writers, manuscripts, and notebooks, and to, and to systematize the data to derive the statistics and information useful for the reconstruction of the author's main method of annotation. These issues clearly emerged in the edition of the Library of Giorgio Bassani, one of the most important Italian writers of the 20th century. His collection of books is now located in Ferrara and consists of 3,395 books, among which 252 are annotated. This case study has suggested, suggested the possibility of verifying whether and in what terms the digital environment could obviate the problems mentioned above. Thanks to its properties, that is to say, the reticular and hypertextual nature, the need for formalization, the possibility of associating the facsimile of the annotated page with the transcription of the notes. We have therefore chosen to test a dual mode edition, testing alongside the traditional printed edition of the notes, a prototype of a digital edition. Shetty Don Bassani seems to the book La Squadra del Uomo by Guido Calogero, which reproduces the editorial criteria of the traditional edition. In this way, we will better pursue the objectives, the objectives that are typical of the study of an author's library identification of Bassani's working method, recurring patterns in the annotation understanding the value assigned by the author to certain sounds, what kind of reader Bassani is, studying all the verbal means, which are often overlooked. Many interesting projects are devoted to the full annotation, like Beckett's Digital Library, Merrick's Margin Area and Margin Area Online, which are close to our aim, even if they choose different the AI encoding approaches. Our model is in fact based on an innovative use of the XML CCI markup schema, stemming from the reflection of the nature of the note. It is, as we said, a text that arises from another text. As a text written by the author, it is conceptually more important to the philologist than the text to which it refers. This principle is not matched by a specific editorial solution in the CPI vocabulary, which rather suggests treating the authorial notes as if they were an appendix to the main text, 
within which they are generally inserted and transcribed in new coding with the tag node, label, etc. Instead, our model reverses this hierarchy by giving greater importance to the authorial names. Consider as individual units with their own autonomy and value, they are first encoded on the metadata level in the tiger as MS item in MS desk, adapting the method that TTI proposes for proposes for collections of manuscript contents, and then in the section that houses the transcription of the main text, the text, they are transcribed as div, separating them from the printed text, transcribed separately in a subordinate position. The multidimensional, multimodal and uh, hierarchical digital representation of a textual object suggested by TEI is also well suited to the composite and structured textuality of the node with a better rendering in terms of accuracy and a completeness of information. This is the case of the formalization of the relationship between the note and the printed text, which can be clearly expressed by describing in source doc the annotated page of a surface consisting of several zones using the embedded transcription method proposed by the module 11 of the CEI guidelines. Also significant is the choice to provide a double edition of the text of the notes, critical in the text and diplomatic in the source doc. There is no redundancy because the original multidimensional coding approach allows us for a structured organization of the information concerning the nodes. Their source doc is in fact the module that represents the documentary dimension, explicating the elements that participate in the genesis of the node, erasures, collections, substitutions and the characteristics that result from it being a rapid writing compressed on the edges of the page, such as the presence of abbreviations and articulation broken over several lines. Finally, the elasticity and hierarchical structure of the taxonomy inscribed in the document with the taxonomy tag in the section dedicated to the description of the encoding metadata, that is to say, class decla, then allows for the representation of all types of annotation, including nonverbal ones, and included as MS item in MS desk, like the verbal ones, and as metamarking source doc. We have also developed a web application based on XTCD technology for publication and exploitation of the digital edition prototype. The applet, called Voce dei Margini, allows scholars to search among the encoded nodes with the advanced searching capabilities, among which proximity matching, as shown in the example during this slide, to carry out the lexical queries in order to better study the Spanish Union annotation, at least for the project, which was part of my doctoral dissertation discussed last year as important future objectives. The search for a more complex and structured information visualization system through the use of voyant tools, the addition of the linguistic data to carry out advanced queries concerning the morphological and syntactic level through the sample software, the use of HDR systems for transcribing not only the printed text, but also the Spanish notes, the application of the model to the all books annotated by Bassani to create a rich and dynamic digital library. In conclusion, our proposal based on a dual hybrid approach to the authorial note has revealed the compatibility and fruitful exchange between the traditional philological method and the digital one. In fact, 
the structured and the hierarchical language of the TPI allows the work or, uh, of formal and critical analysis carried by, out by the philologist, which remains a preliminary and essential, to be translated into the digital environment, enhancing it through a clearer, smart, harder, and richer representation 